Almost 10 years ago, a criminal illegal alien shot to death a beautiful young American girl on the streets of San Francisco. The O'Reilly Factor sent me to a board of supervisors hearing to confront the politicians who had blood on their hands. I'd like to address your dangerous sanctuary city policies. I'd like to show you a picture here. It's Kate Steinle. She was murdered by an illegal alien who had been deported five times and over six felony convictions. But for some reason, the city of San Francisco let this guy out. You guys aren't even looking. Look at the picture. You afraid? You guys don't have anything to say? Thank you very much. Next speaker, please. Nothing has changed. Lake and Riley, a 22-year-old nursing student, was murdered in Georgia last week. Blunt force trauma to the head. The suspect, Jose Antonio Ibarra, is an illegal alien from Venezuela who broke into our country two years ago. This is what the White House said at the time. I want to ask you about the border. Would you call the border secure? The border is secure. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. Catch and release is insecurity. Now, FBI sources even say Jose assaulted a federal agent when he was caught, but the Biden administration released him into the country anyway. They bought him a ticket, sent him here to New York, where Mayor Eric Adams gave him a free hotel room and culturally appropriate meals. Uber Eats hired him to deliver food, so Jerry Nadler was happy. But then he was arrested in New York for endangering a child. He walked out of jail without getting deported because we're a sanctuary city. Alvin Bragg brags about it. Jose headed south to Athens, Georgia, where he met up with his brother Diego, and they both were arrested for shoplifting. But once again, Athens is a sanctuary city, so no one was deported. And a few months later, Jose murders Lake and Riley. Police call it a crime of opportunity. They didn't know each other. He just saw her jogging on a wooded path and decided to bash her head in. At every step of the way, at the border, in New York and in Georgia, a dangerous foreign national broke the law and suffered no consequences because of fringe policies the far left claims are compassionate. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, they say, but I'm not sure these intentions are good. Former President Donald Trump is scheduled a campaign stop at the border Thursday, and suddenly President Biden announced a visit to the border on the same day. And while grabbing ice cream with Seth Meyers and Rock Center earlier this afternoon, Joe Biden couldn't even bring himself to say the Georgia student's name. I've been planning to go Thursday. What I didn't know is uh, my good friend apparently is gone. All right. The president still hasn't mentioned the dead Georgia co-ed, aside from a weak statement Binder released about people should be held accountable. And enough with the ice cream. What's so special about liking ice cream? Everybody likes it. I don't get this whole Joe Biden ice cream thing. And the president can't be licking vanilla ice cream cones while illegals are murdering our girls. Now, I'm not asking the president to give up ice cream, but save it for vacation. Now, will this grisly murder be a turning point in the election? Difficult to say when the press frames it as Republicans pouncing. So uh, Republicans obviously seizing on this horrific tragedy at the University of Georgia. Um, this girl, this nursing student killed uh, by an undocumented Venezuelan uh, migrant. And they're seizing on this as an example of Biden's failure to protect the American people and to secure the border. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution said a 26-year-old Athens man was charged with murder, an Athens man. The Associated Press was worse. The killing of a nursing student out for a run highlights the fears of solo female athletes. Now, in the article, they say authorities arrested Athens resident Jose Antonio Ibarra. Nowhere in the story does the AP mention he's an illegal with a rap sheet. That's like saying the 9-11 attacks were perpetrated by Boston residents and highlights the fears of businessmen and skyscrapers. Right on cue, Axios writes, quote, conservatives are falsely suggesting that anyone can get into the U.S. without much hassle. But the southern border is more fortified than it's ever been. Well, 
I'd call assaulting a Border Patrol agent and getting handed a free bus ticket to New York hassle-free. And the border's more fortified than ever? Biden stopped border wall construction and then blasted holes in the wall so antelopes could roam free. AOC says Republicans are haters and everything's just fine. The idea that Republicans, in order to win an election, say we need to hermetically seal the border when they know that that would be, that is economic self-sabotage to the U.S. economy. And they are saying, let's, let's do it anyway, while being as xenophobic and anti-immigrant as, as they are, and while ginning up this, this false narrative about this being a crisis. Innocent Americans are dying because politicians lack common sense. And the radical left lies, blames you, and writes about jogging. Another Venezuelan migrant, this time in Virginia, was arrested for sexually assaulting a minor. And just last month, a Venezuelan migrant kicked a cop in the head and then flipped the double birds as he walked out of jail. This is Biden's signature immigration policy, paroling thousands of Venezuelans into the country. And as migrant crime in America skyrockets, crime in Venezuela has fallen to a 22-year low. Why? Because they're sending their criminals here. And the president of Venezuela won't take them back. Maduro shut down all deportation flights coming from the United States. Even if Biden deported a Venezuelan criminal, Venezuela won't take him. We're being murdered. Our own media is covering it up, and our own government is sanctioning it. What do we have to do to stop it? Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.